Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome back to my channel for Food Street. It's a beautiful Friday morning here in Japan. The sun is shining, people are out playing, I've got the window open, and it looks very nice indeed. And I'm going to be doing the golden trucks today, so let's get right on into that and say hello. So first of all, hello and hello. Right, Angel, my darling, nice to see you here in the chat, and how are you on this fine and beautiful morning as well? It's 9.30 here and you're going to be having me until about noon today and then I've got some work to go and do so let's enjoy the time now golden trucks are fun sometimes basically you get the opportunity to do lots of goodies sometimes and get two kinds of rewards so for the next two days and 11 hours we've got some nice little goodies now before I get much into this today I'm going to talk about the events that are coming up in the game for next week so we go into privacy mode while I bring up my email and then and I've had a VIP newsletter come through from the games company and I'm going to be showing you what's actually coming for the next time period so let's go bring up the VIP newsletter and we will talk about that in today's chat first of all so there is the email everybody and as we look down there from Tuesday April the 2nd so from next week we've got the enchanted castle theme coming into the game as you can see down there. Let's see who's in the chat as well. Lawanda, hello, MXC, hello, Tanea, Cute Kitty, Peter, Cindy. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Lawanda, I've said hello as well. Welcome. So as you can see, next week is the Enchanted Castle. This is where you get to do make-believe items. You get to be a little bit creative on your designs as well. And maybe even buy some new decoration and existing decoration. After that, from April the 16th, which is the one I enjoy the most, is the Taste of Japan. So, I will probably try to get some nice videos and other bits that I can showcase during that time as well. But either way, we'll be talking about food, and I like food. Phoebe, hello as well, by the way. So, Japan is going to be the theme from the 16th, and the Enchanted Castle event from Tuesday the 2nd. So, two events. Now, what does that mean for us within the game? We're already in the game, as you know. There's Season 18 with some beautiful little animals. I'm interested in these animals this time because I like the farm-based aspect for my design. So, I will probably get that one. <coughs> Ricky, you've got the heart over there. I know. So, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of hearts coming up in the chat. So, everybody can show me some love. It's all good. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Still needs to be in a better position though, I think, so definitely. Alright, sliding on down again, you can see the decoration. Now we got the poisonous apple coming in. Look at that. So, this is a cute little apple that's coming into the game. Not saying that you shouldn't eat it, but if it's got green on it, then that's not so good. <coughs> Peter, is that you sending up those hearts? Tanea said, hello, Mary Beth. Cute kitty. Our little team got fourth place last time. Much better than usual. Well done. Mary Beth said, however, eating twice baked hash browns for Einst from Einstein tonight. Really? That is good. Right, now, as we slide on over as well, you've got a beautiful wand, there's like a magic book, there's a mushroom basket, there's floor pieces, we've got walls coming back, doors, tables, windows, we've got a sleeping beauty, as long as you ask her permission before you kiss her to wake up, that is the new thing, so yes. Looks like a ghost face on that apple, it's a skeleton face, yes, so there's like an evil face of death on that one so yes <coughs> so definitely not worth eating that one there are some nice pieces down there I do like the houses I uh, wish we had more options though um, and some of the other pieces are very nice as well you got some clothing you've got uh, some cool decoration so there are some nice pieces for this theme <coughs> so which ones are you going to get that is the question Tanea says, I like this theme. I do too. It's pretty. I've always enjoyed the fantasy movies. Um, the Sleeping Beauty ones, uh, um, Disney ones, or Fantasia and all the others. Um, I've always enjoyed the, 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 
the folk tales and the storytelling and other bits that you get from the books as well. So there's a lot of good ones. So, but what's your favourite fantasy tale? If you think of all of the stories out there, which one do you like the most? <coughs> Just watch the Heyday Daily News. Did you get decoration, Peter? I hope so. so yeah. There's a lot of cool things that came out in that one, which I do like. So, yes. Mm, especially deco wise I'm happy about right sliding on down again you can see some of the interactive decoration I do believe there is a walking fruit or plant seed that so that looks like a plant seed that is walking and growing and goes into the ground so yeah, maybe this is the magic bean that grows into a very giant beanstalk Mm. Yeah, you had company over. Ah, that was nice, Pete. I hope you enjoyed yourself. We got the beautiful pond feature again, and we got some of those uh, flying unicorn horses, which are kind of cute, and I like those. You got the frog, and you've got some other creatures down there. You've got the golden goose as well. So some functional pets there. Now, if you want to get your own free decoration, if you are entering the event, there's the chance to actually get a uh, gorgeous little goodie for coming in first place, a yellow pet fairy. So for those teams that are very strong, for those teams that use gems to stay in first place, for those teams that beat their members to produce more in the kitchen, your opportunity to get a free decoration is definitely there. Mm. And you can see some of the event items down there as well. And there will be a bottleneck as usual with the merchant, but that's normal with this one. Uh, eating twice baked hash browns from Einstein. I do like hash browns, I must admit. Mm. Yeah. was going to miss tonight's stream, getting ready to go Monday, but here I am. Oh, Pete, if you need to go and get ready because of your trip, that's not a problem at all. You enjoy yourself. Mm. Just tired from company and getting ready for Monday. Yeah, I can understand that feeling sometimes. So, yes, indeed. Okay, there's the Enchanted Delivery event, so um, again, you've got an event for cooking, then delivery event for cooking and delivery, so very repetitive. Now, the Japan decoration, the Japanese deco. We've got Mount Fuji in there. Yes, 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 yes. That, I really hope this is big, and I mean I really, really hope this is big. If it's tiny, I'm going to be like, no. This one needs to be at least like nine squares. It really does. Um, I know some of you like designing and having mountains in the background for your designs. So if this Mount Fuji is of a larger size, then I will be so happy indeed. If it's tiny, I'm going to be like, no, that's not good. But we've also got this gorgeous building as well, which I'm looking forward to getting. And that will be an interesting one to add to the design. We've got a sushi character down there. There's a gong uh, and a mark down there as well. I wonder where that's going to go. So we've got some new decoration being added into the theme. So yay on that side. <coughs> Don't like road trips. I don't mind road trips, Pete, if they're in a bus, as an example, like a coach, um, with short stops in between, or if I'm traveling in a caravan, as an example. But if it's just in a road, car and it's packed and I'm stuck in the back or something like that, I'm not keen. As a driver, I can't sleep, but if I'm in the car, I tend to fall off to sleep. Mm. But, yeah. One good thing about living in Japan, if you want to take a road trip or you're going somewhere, you don't have to take your luggage with you. Uh, we have like a, the Kuroneko delivery service, which is really good. And you fill out a piece of paper for each suitcase that you're taking with you. They come and collect it from your house um, and then they then deliver it to your destination for you. That way you don't have to lug 
luggage or suitcases or other things in your car or carry them on trains or whatever else and it's much much easier so it's one service I really do recommend in Japan if you're traveling around moving from hotel to hotel or place to place definitely the way to go um, really is well the CD hello as well by the way but we got new Japanese deco coming up in the game. Yay! Well, I do like this theme. I do, I do. Yeah, got some nice item pieces down there. Decoration wise, there doesn't seem to be anything new with the interactive decoration. They're all existing pieces. Um, so, not much new there. However, that flower is very pretty. I've not seen that one before. So, what is that? Um, what is that one I wonder but the sushi tables the pets the trees the um, dance machines those are very standard I guess I should start um, building up my voucher so this event is going to be good for this one mm. now as usual down there we got taiyaki we got the rice bento skiyaki yakitori daikon salad mochi bonito flakes and ramen so yummy 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 I could eat some of these now I really really could Shelly hello as well by the way then another golden event then there's me down there as well handsome as ever if I do say so and what's coming in May we've got coffee shop event in early May and then the Paris Bisto in mid May so for May itself it's a cafe and bistro theme. Hmm. Uh, can't wait for the country fair. Um, okay, but uh, don't like the lucky pig bonuses. <laughs> yeah. I don't either, Pete. I don't. Yeah. So. Mm. but very cool indeed so that's the theme that's what's coming up over the next couple of months or so you know what's now coming into the game please prepare wisely which means building up your coins building up your vouchers and getting ready now I don't have a lot of coins left because I had a big expenditure the other day I've definitely opened up more land now which is nice yeah, bought a few more goodies as well and I used a lot of my tokens I did get the fox by the way so there we go there's the spring fox pet now so I'm now an owner of an ugly looking fox that looks like a rabbit that can't make up its mind I suppose this is one way of actually convincing the rabbits you're safe before you attack them and eat them but uh, not going to work I don't feel okay let's go get rid of this decoration now I don't need this kept in my game and we put that one down there we go uh, get rid of those blended in pieces as well put that away take away the cake get rid of that one as well and I can remove these pets now as well yes mm -hmm. I need more of those cows I do like collecting the farm animals from this game so definitely worth doing for me I like I like I like right. I've got all of the path pieces so we go and stick this back to a regular piece now get rid of all of those and there we go that looks nice okay we're done and I can get rid of the machine for blending as well and we are back to normal right Shelly saying hello lucky pigs are Phoebe's things really hmm Phoebe told them, what day is the next event, said World of CD. I just went through the schedule on that one. Um, so it's um, in April. So you can go back and look at my picture that I just up, uh, showed you on the screen. So, yes. Hang on, let me go do it again. What day is that event? Where's my email account? <coughs> Can't believe I'm doing this again after I just showed you. <laughs> right, okay, Food Street. The next event is on uh, April the 4th. So April the 4th. That is the Enchanted Castle event. So April the 4th. Mm -hmm. 
April the 4th. There you go. Time to get ready. Right, what have we got down here? Let's have a look. We can do one of those. We can do one of those. Oh my god, that was good. Right, we need the BLT sandwich. So the BLT sandwich is this one. We're going to need bread. I've got bread. We're going to need ham. I've got some ham. We're going to need carrots. I need carrots. Okay. So let's go get carrots on the go. We need a lot of carrots down here as well. This is going to be fun. I need six of those sandwiches. I can do one, two, three of those sandwiches. I need more ham. So more ham means carrots as well. Like what? Seriously? The game hates me. Okay, All right, let's request help on those. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Come and fill those crates for me. <coughs> mm. So Phoebe, you're good with lucky pig bonuses, are you? That's nice. I never seem to be able to get those. So I always fail in the task. I get a couple, but then I always get the bomb. So I think the game doesn't like me somehow. Right, 417 to go. Slowly chipping away at that one. And then we get the sec third star, which will be very nice indeed. So, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think 4th of April is like a Thursday, maybe. So, maybe Thursday next week. So, Monday's the first, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so first, second, third, fourth. Yeah, I think it's the uh, Thursday next week. So, you've got till Thursday next week to get ready on that one. So nice and easy task. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Double seafood in that one, that's nice. Carrots down there, which is very handy. Anything else I need to grab quickly? No. Let's go do some helping hands. <laughs> Can't do any of those, sorry. Ah, there's a helping hand. I can do that one. Next one. Miyoki sticky. Hmm. I like sticky food, I do. I do. Yesterday I went to a tonkatsu restaurant and I had um, chicken katsu, which is very nice indeed. Um, so I did enjoy that one. With extra rice as well. Yes, it was good. They also had uh, some Thai-based katsu um, and some uh, other ones as well, which looked interesting. Uh, but I was shocked by the price. And I was like, no, that's a little bit above my budget that I'm happy to do. So that was a little bit expensive. Yep, so I thought, no, I will decline that one. But the pictures did look good. They really did. So I'm definitely tempted to uh, go back and get them or try them again. Because I do like to try different tastes or flavours sometimes. But again, um, depends on if I've got the money in my wallet to pay for it. So. Mm, got my paper bags ready. Going to need them for lucky pig bonuses. <laughs> Yeah, good luck, Pete. Good luck. Okay, we can do some orders. There goes number one. That one we got to trash. That one we can do. That was handy. That came in there nicely. We can collect that one and do that one as well. So three done. Beautiful. I like that one. And we've got some other ones down there as well. There's some tomatoes and apple pies. Apple pies I get rid of. Can I do the falafel? I think I might have some creams. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Oh, dear. I'm going to trust that one, too. i take the order from that one. That's good. There we go. We'll start progressing that. Perfect. <coughs> mm. yeah. I'm looking forward to the Japanese theme, though, because I do like that one. Yeah, and there's some cool decoration. But even the next theme has some nice items as well. So that fantasy theme, you can be very, very creative, some of the existing decorations that are in. So that's the fairy tale lake that is coming. Yeah, and I do like that lake, I must admit. It is very pretty indeed. So that's the one you are going to get in the next theme. 
if I slide on down or some of the other pieces let's have a look from the Japanese theme you've got the dance machine which is that one there and you've got the sushi tables as well those are in the Japanese theme and depending on if you've upgraded they look good as well the curious tables are nice one from the fantasy style themes that we've had in the past but um, again you need to expand on those as well or request on those ones remember I don't mind giving away certain items if they are in the game already and you're welcome to pick and choose if you win so it doesn't have to be from that specific theme you can choose from different themes as well what were the other decoration hang on a second <laughs> go back to the newsletter slide on down Ah, uh, that's right, it's the animals, isn't it? So we go do the animals in a second. <laughs> Let's go bring up the animals. That's another good one from previously, the Wonderland tea set. Okay, let's go see those animals. So I need that one, I think, not that one. Hang on. Do, 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 do. Specials. Some animals I've got, some I don't have. Let's see if I can find them. There we go. There's the ice unicorn. That's one of the ones I've got. I don't have all of them, but that's pretty itself. I like that one. But the ones we need are on the actual tower. up. So there's the butterfly unicorn, which is this one. That one I do have. I don't have all of them. So you can see one pet at least. There's the griffin pet, I believe, is one of them as well. Do I have any other pets from the sets? I don't get all of them. Let's check, 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 check. <coughs> Pegasus pet is that one as well. Let's have a look. No, that's a different one. That looks like I don't have all of the animals. Giant spider is a good one from previous ones. There's the baby unicorn. Is that the same type or different? No, nope, that's a different one too. There's the rainbow unicorn. That's another one, but it's a different type as well. I need the flying ones. There's the robot dog from the Japanese theme. That's that one down there. Got a few of those. There we go. There's the frog prince. That's one of them. And there is the magic goose. That's another one. I think that was all. Let me double check. <coughs> Uh, the two falcons, I only have the one. I've only got uh, one of the unicorns, so I can't show you all of those ones. Don't have all of the animals and other bits, but there are some nice pieces there. So. On the Japan decoration side, there's a few more pieces. Hang on a second, do I have it? There's the Hanami picnic, which is very pretty. That one's coming up soon. 
<laughs> there was a few more. When the themes come in, you'll be able to see in more detail, but uh, that to give you an idea on what to expect that's coming. So there were some nice animals coming. I don't have all of them, but some I do. Mm. <coughs> Darts machine. I've still got three more stars worth of items to upgrade. I still need to produce more goods to unlock that nine more times. Those ones I've already upgraded, and again I need to do more. That one's upgraded, and that one's upgraded. So that one I could do again if I get more blues. The picnic table just requires items. Uh, the pets and other ones just require items as well. So there were some nice little goodies down there. Oh, the goose can be upgraded. An 8 and 15. Hmm, more XP. That would be nice. That would be nice. So which animals do you want to go for? That is the question in relation to those ones. Some nice pieces down there. There we go. We take that one as well. Come back to this one, the BLT. Now we can do that one, two. There we go. <laughs> ah, we got people coming in. Ladies coming in. <coughs> Interesting. Maybe they're having a little bit of a social gathering and interaction there. So, yeah. Okay, next one down there. That's it. That's all I can do. Three. We've started. Let's start working on the pizzas. All right, you lot very quiet in the chat today. Is everybody okay or you're not wanting to chat so much? So it's okay to talk to me as well and I can respond to you if necessary. Yes. Okay, let's keep going on this one. So nice decoration pieces. I'm more interested in getting this done. We need lots of carrots again. Carrots are on the go. They'll be ready in two minutes, which is nice. Let's start loading up some machines as well and getting ready with those. Pancakes is next. We need some eggs. There we go. Beautiful. Would you like the spring fox? It's cute. Well, for today's giveaways, as an example, we did some last time. So for the spring event, the pet's still available, Shelley. So the, spe the pet is still available. So if you wanted to choose the pet as a winning item for today's theme, uh, that pet is still up for grabs. So last time the water slide was won by Real Sportsman. Bouter packs are won as well. Today I've got to do the pet, the gold and the gems for today's stream. Cute Kitty said we have a movie on the go at home. Which movie? I've been watching some movies of an evening at the moment. I've been doing in Delicious in Dungeon, which is a Japanese animation TV series, which is very good, and I like that one. So that's been a lot of fun to watch. They basically work their way down in a dungeon, and because food is an issue, they start eating all the monsters, and um, it's actually pretty good. Yes. Okay, let's set up Nightbox so we can do the first giveaway today. Anyway, we go to the account, set that one up, continue on this side, allow on this side as well. Do -do -do -do. And yesterday I was not able to modify my stream at all, which was annoying until after the stream finished. But today it's letting me modify this account. So I wonder, the man who would be king. Oh, okay. <coughs> Hang on, I think I know that one as well. Let me double check if I do, if it's the one I think. The man uh, who would be king. That's a very, very old movie, isn't it? Yes, I thought so. A 1975 movie. Yeah, I know that one. 
seen that one a long time ago. Yes, 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 yes. So this one. <coughs> very, very old one with Sean Connery. I remember that one. Some very good actors with that one. Some very good actors. That was a good movie. Good book too. Look at those moustaches as well. Yeah. I should grow mine like that too. Yep, Sean Connery, Ricky Urgent, go look at Slack PM. Okay, Slack, let's have a shifty. I heard about that one, but I haven't had a check of it yet, Phoebe. I got told about that the other day, uh, but I haven't had the chance to look into that one. App loving relates to payments though. <coughs> I think that relates to the payments, so you get paid. So check behind the scenes on that one, they have to ask the Heyday team on that one. It's been rejected in many European countries, so I think it's just America on that one, but I'm not 100% sure. Did you get to see the daily news while doing the stream? Uh, I already knew about the daily, the daily news before the stream peat up, so I brought up slides that I'd made for it. Um, so for me, I had all the slides ready. Um, so I had the farm pass information. Uh, I had the task event. I had the money. I had the country fair, or sorry, county fair. Uh, I had the YouTube one as well, the Ramadan one, the new pet one, and the special reward decoration. So I covered everything in my stream um, for all players. The farm pass one I will prepare tonight and upload that uh, tomorrow. So that's coming soon as well but yes I did not get it and I'm sending a copy to my senator yeah some people have uh, got it some people not so um, I got it on one of my games and I got it on the dev build as well Phoebe so it came up on both of those for me I videotaped it but I haven't had the chance to go back through the settings because it crashed while I was doing it 
so I haven't finished reading it yet so. mm -hmm. but yeah a lot of people have been getting those uh, pop-ups now coming within the game um, but um, a lot of reading <laughs> Carrots. Excuse me. <coughs> You're sending a copy to your senator. Yeah, okay. Well, how about first of all, speak to Supercell and ask them why their app is that they're promoting is requesting passwords. Once you've spoken to them on that side and got the feedback there, then if you don't get the suitable answer, go to your senator. So. Remember, App Loving is an app service that you can sign up for. Um, and then they need your email and password for that app service. Um, go double check what it's for. That will make it a bit easier. And save getting overstressed. <clears throat> I don't know. I've not asked them yet. So I've not asked them yet. Go make a post in the general slack and ask like uh, why do we need to give our passwords um, for this service <clears throat> are you familiar with forever and a day hang on a second I think I know that one that's a love story isn't it forever and a day let me just confirm so for ever and a day it's a nineteen forty three movie I think as well did it did a world war two That one's an old, 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 old one. But there's a modern version as well, which is a little bit different. So do you mean the original or do you mean the new one? So there's an old version, okay, uh, which is very, very cool, uh, which has a lot of very famous stars. And then there's the more modern version as well. So which one do you mean? Which one? So there's more than one version down there. <clears throat> I think one's about uh, selling the ancestral home. I think one's more love story related, but I'm not sure. So probably no. I know the old version. I think I've seen that one, but that would have been quite some time ago. Okay, we got that started now. Bubble tea, bubble tea, bubble tea. I don't have the honey on that one, so we'll trash that one after all. That one's prepared. Tomato soup we can get on the go next. And I got some tomatoes. I need to do some more tomatoes. The old one. Okay. Mm, it follows a mansion from 1904 to WW World War II. Uh, I think I know that one then. Yes, 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 yes. There's a few good uh, TV dramas that are very similar as well. Um, there was another one that was related around a, a manor home uh, and the family trials and tribulations were up to that one. Mm. <coughs> but yeah, I think I've seen it, so, but a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
you've asked about it in the general that's probably the best way to go first fee it is to ask there and then see what the response is the yeah, trouble is at the moment they probably find like our team they're away on vacation or they're focusing on doing other things at the moment so getting anything done for my farm pass giveaway nada said she's okay to wait till uh, like the next month instead so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want to upgrade those again. I do, but I've got to stock them first and build up their ability to get more. So I suppose I better start getting closer and closer on those. If I do that, then I can do them. <coughs> that one's a beautiful one. I do like the lake. That one's pretty as well. Let's activate that. Get some coins as well. Get it up and running. Yes. Hmm. Need to restock that a few more times just to see what the next one looks like for an upgrade. I think that'll be expensive too. <coughs> Can't remember how much they cost last time, but there's two Griffin pets and there's like three of the unicorn blues and there's two robot dogs as well. So some nice potential for some other little animals to come within the game. But uh, later, later, later on those ones. Mm. Put that back into storage as well. There we go, get it out of the way for the moment. Mm. Now keep that one down there. We'll see if we can start upgrading it more. And I like the fairy tale lake, we go with that one as well. Mm -hmm. Right, time for me to do a giveaway. I'm going to do a gem giveaway. 25 gems up for grabs. Tonya, hello as well, by the way. Just in time. Just in time for the first giveaway of today's stream. <coughs> Let's refresh first in case something goody is there. Nope. Nobody's selling anything I want. There we go. Another one done. I've got two more coming, so I should be able to get one more of those done, which would be nice. And then maybe if I can get the hams done in time. I've got 15 hours on the clock, so I should be able to do this. So that would be good at least. That will definitely help on that. Which will be nice. Uh, Peter, what president? Wow, so Phoebe knows a senator. Can you introduce me to the president? Uh, Phoebe, and Princess of Wales. Uh, she's pretty. Mm. <coughs> uh, I like the fact that Phoebe is able to chat with her senator. So... Um, that's probably why they earn millions and uh, become very rich because they're always busy. So, yes, indeed. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do 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 Okay, nice easy question everybody. I'm not sure what her current title is. Um, I think she's now the Princess of Wales, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. So, 
<clears throat> but I know the royal family is going through medical issues at the moment, according to the latest news. <clears throat> so um, she has cancer, I think it is, or some kind of stomach issue. Uh, or now Charles, I think, has cancer. Um, and his Kate has something else, something to do with her intestines or something. I think it is. So. Um, I think in the past, like having children was a potential issue, which was in the news a long, long time ago. Uh, that's why she can't have many, many children. There were some issues she had medically wise there. Um, so maybe it's compounded and got worse. Mm, but she is a very nice lady. Mm. The other one is married to Harry. I don't know much about. I know she was uh, a star in her some TV shows and, uh, mm, and uh, yeah. <coughs> do 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 do. Okay, everybody, here is your first clue. So I'm asking the question now, what does the fox want to be? So this is your first clue. So there's a fox in the game. What does the fox want to be? One word. One word. What does the fox want to be? So there's a spring fox. What does he want to be? Phoebe, I haven't lived in the UK for 24 years, so I know more about what's going on in Japan than I do in the UK. Um, so I really don't know much of everything that's happening these days, and I don't sit in front of uh, the news being totally absorbed by it. Um, Okay, so she's got cancer. That's a shame. Sorry for her. She's sick. Um, that's fine. Sorry for her. But she doesn't have any impact on my life. <coughs> now, speaking of someone who did impact on my life, um, have you heard anything from... Um, Scatterbrook's Mark's family about flowers or donations by any chance. Um, I know they've read my message but nobody's replied back to me on that one. So did you get any feedback because I'm being chased by some people who'd like to send a donation or send flowers. So do you know anything or have you heard anything? I saw a nice video she did explaining the situation. <laughs> Uh, well, I do know that some of these videos that have come out have not been real videos, cute kitty. So AI representations or fake imagery, uh, like posting the family photo uh, of her with her children um, and when they're using facial cutouts from magazines and other bits. So, yeah, don't believe everything that you see in the news, vice versa for both sides. So... Yeah, the internet is a strange place and the amount of people that have been ripping the family photos apart recently because of fake post is funny. Mm. So what does my fox want to be? Let's see if everybody's going to choose the answer. Some of you are saying bunny, but bunny's not the word I chose. So I didn't choose bunny, no. You didn't get any replies. Okay, okay. <clears throat> it was cute, kitty. It was. Ricky, you don't like to read news about international stuff. Well, I do, Peter, but um, I don't spend all my time on it. Like, I read it, so I know, but then like, it's not overly important for me. So sometimes I read it, sometimes I don't, sometimes I pay attention, but I don't totally focus on it. Um, I pay enough attention to be able to um, 
talk to my students or if they ask a question I can give some things information on it and then get them to tell me more as part of the discussion maybe but uh, I'm not a royal watcher uh, I don't really care what they do or don't do or other things so mm. Let's load up on the hams again. He wants greens. Please wait on that one. Casadilla, I'm going to have to say no on that one. So, definitely. Right. Okay, let's come down to the event. How are we going? We're up to 26 at the moment. So, soon on that one. I'm not going to complete this as usual, which I tend not to end up doing but in the shop what have we got let's have a shifty there's some animals at the back there so I'm halfway to doing this one already and I've already purchased one I think it was did I get one it's not showing as a purchase oh maybe I didn't purchase anything I could have sworn I got one animal mm -hmm. I thought I got the cow last time Maybe I didn't. Mm, my brain's going. <coughs> well, I'm sneezing. Maybe I've caught hay fever. I hope not. Your fox wants to be a troublemaker like me. No, no, no. My fox doesn't want to be a troublemaker. He just wants to blend in and play with the rabbits. Oh, he wants to play with the rabbits. Okay, let's go do it. We've got down there one, two, three, four, five people with the right answer. And four, three people haven't said the answers. Waskily Wabbit, yes, cute kitty, exactly. So Peter didn't answer yet. Okay. Um, uh, Strictly hasn't answered yet, and Tonya hasn't answered yet, so uh, I'm about to do the giveaway, so good luck everybody. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 25 gems, and Cute Kitty is a winner. There we go. First person up on the board, Cute Kitty, 25 gems. You got it. There we go. Next one down there is going to be Angels. Hello. You get the next one. There you go. There you go. Click on that one too. 25 gems. Perfect. Next one down there is going to be Phoebe. There we go. Phoebe, you've got 25 gems as well. Winner number three. And next one down there is Tanea. She gets it as well. 25 gems. Do, 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 do. Oh, why am I changing to Japanese? That's not good. I just hit the wrong button on my keyboard. It's going to type in hiragana, which is not what I want. And the last one down there will be Shelly Ryder. Oh, we got a family photo. So is that you and your husband in the picture there? Let's have a look. Oh, a Christmas tree behind you, maybe? <gasps> You've got your own matching armchairs as well. Is that one of those where the bottom comes out and it reclines, I wonder? So, yeah. No sofa for you two. You're sitting separately. Now, the answer I chose, everybody, was Wabbit. So if you typed in Wabbit, then you got it. Right, so let's do the copy the details over. Shelley's information I've got, level 27, Angels Amongst Us. That one's easy from last time. Uh, Taneo is Break the Fast, or Break the Fast, level 20. Still don't know what team you're in, though. Phoebe, did you want to keep yours? You're going to pass yours over to Tonya. You are. That's nice. Thank you very much. So Tonya is chill and be saucy level 65, but she didn't enter. Okay. So, yeah. 
Angel K's farm I need down there as well. The Angel is Karen's Diner. Big Happy Family, level 46. That's your late stepdad and your mum. Really? <clears throat> yeah, my stepdad passed away last year too. So, um, still miss him. Still miss him. I chatted with my mum the other day as well. And... Um, She's basically been keeping busy to um, cope with the loss. So my mum and dad were very big into DIY, hence the fact that my sister does it as well. Um, so my mum's been repainting and redecorating the house. Um, and she says that now that she's a widow, um, she's entitled to certain other benefits that you couldn't get as a uh, married lady, as an example. Um, so she got her loft insulated free of charge. We've got three lofts in our home. So my sister, my mum and other family members went up in the lofts and they emptied everything out so it could be insulated. Uh, and my mum climbed up on the scaffolding inside the house to have a look in the loft. She then fell and almost fell over the banisters which would have been a very nasty drop down to the next floor in our home because my home has like four floors and my bedrooms on the top floor used to be right under the top loft um, and my sister and my aunt had to grab her from falling so she was half hanging over the banisters so i told her don't you dare start climbing up but uh, she got the insulation done free of charge. They had to install fans in the loft as well for circulation, which was interesting. Um, so the features that they're now doing, from what she's saying, very nice. I asked her about some of my old stuff, but they said they just threw everything. To, um, everything that was in the loft is gone now. To, um, oh dear. Mm. Angel said, I'm 47 now. Really happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday Shelley says I'm 28 oh, happy birthday as well everybody's getting older but my mum been redecorating and repainting and remodeling so keeping busy My sister and my mum went to like a residential home where there's other old people um, to see if my mother would like to uh, live in one of these locations. And she said they were so boring. So boring and so clicky. It's just like people waiting to die kind of style uh, or not doing anything, just sitting there watching TV and she was like, nah, that's not for me. So, mm, My sister went up into the attic and fell through the panels, hit her head on the object and passed away. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Um, that's not good. Those attics are not always the safest place. Like in your countries, I think you have like wooden boards over the beams. Um, here, like uh, it's literally just a beam and a big gap and a beam. So you're literally standing on the inside ceiling. So you've got to be very, very, very careful. Because otherwise it's easy to fall through. It really is. But uh, they had a good clean out, they said, and got rid of everything that was up there but my mum said she'd rather have my dad back than the free insulation um, so insulation's nice but she'd rather have him back she misses him a lot mm, 10 years ago okay Shelley said her birthday's in May really so Shelley how old are you going to be in May and then Angel said hers in June. Mine's in July, by the way. So, yeah. May, June, July, a birthday every month. Yay. Start sending me your birthday cards now. Three years from my in December for my stepdad's been gone. Okay. Yeah. It's a shame when people pass away. We do miss them. 
I don't think you ever get over that. Pretty easy to guess people's ages, though, Pete. Mm. Not too challenging, after all. You can do it. Give it a go. See if you can guess how old our viewers are. <laughs> I need greens again to do the next one down there. So. I should be able to do a few of these trucks, it'll be nice. I've already asked and I've had no reply yet on that one, Pete. 49 in May. Wow, 49. I used to be 49 three years ago. Mm. 51 now, though. Do -do -do -do. I had a student the other day who told me her age and I was surprised. I didn't think she was that old. Um, and then when she asked me how I was, old I was, thinking I was older because of the grey hair, and I told her I was 51, she said like, whoa, okay, she never would have guessed. So, hmm. Ricky shouldn't forget my age. I'm one month older than he is. You are, Angel. One month older. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm a young man. Yes, I'm very young, me. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Two orders, one down there. Two down there, that'd be nice, yep. Trash that one, of course. That one I don't think I can do. Lemon meringue, don't have the cream, so we get rid of that one. Uh, burrito, oh, I'd like to have, oh, burrito needs ham, and I need the ham, so I'm going to have to say no. Uh, Spanish omelette, okay. Spanish omelette I can do, that one looks good. Got some nice goodies down there as well, haven't we? Let's get some of these on the go. There we go. Look at that lot. Lovely. That's nice. Uh, I want all the pretty ladies, even the Princess of Wales. You guys are old. I'm like 18. I'll always be 18. So 18 going on 14. <laughs> <laughs> For me, 26 on the outside and uh, 25 on the inside. So my ages are very similar. So yes, indeed. So 26 on the outside, 25 on the inside. Not a problem. That's me. Yep, indeed. Mm -mm -mm. I think that's about right. And the macaroni cheese one. I want milk and cheese. I'll save that for later. I want to activate those machines and get them boosted up. Right, we can start doing some of these now. The apple crumble I wanted to get done today. That'll be a nice start. I wanted to build up more on these 148, so I need coconuts on this one again. There we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I better eat some more wheat first, so hang on. Peter, have you ever seen the movie Somewhere in Time? Ah, uh, hang on, Somewhere in Time, is that the, hang on, I think I know that one as well. Yes, I do know that one. That's the one where the person travels back uh, and meets the same person again and again and again. Um, falls in love. So, yes, I know that one. Mm. Mm. 
for reviews, uh, the Rotten Tomatoes gave it 56, 52%, but the audience was 88%. So, it's interesting. So, 52% versus 88%. Mm. That's the only way it goes back in time, I think it is, isn't it? Mm, with Christopher Reeves. Yeah. He tries to go back, but in the end he fails and he loses her. So, yes, then he dies and joins her in heaven. Yeah, he wanted to go back in time and got snapped back to the present because he had a new coin in his pocket going back. Yes, 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 yes. And he was then unable to do it in the future. So, yeah. Very unfortunate indeed. <clears throat> but, yep, yeah, always empty your pockets. Have grey hair and stop caring about it, said Peter. I like my grey hair too, Pete. So I'm more interested in maintaining my beard so it kind of like matches and creates that whole appearance. Um, I sometimes wish I were a little bit more muscular and like um, six-packed uh, as style. So, But I kind of like, I'm satisfied with my shape. To a certain extent, but um, if I were a little more muscular or physically fitter, I might be a little happier. But I don't know. <laughs> Grey hair can be fixed. Yeah, you can spend hundreds of thousands of dollars and yen and other things dyeing your hair. But at the end of the day, no, 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 no. Grey is fine. Mm. Stick with the grey with the grey. Grey is good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But then again, some men these days do like to change their hair colour. Whatever you do, just don't get the barcode. Do not get the barcode, Pete. Do not get the barcode hairstyle. So do not do that. Whatever you do, do not do that in the future. If you're going to go bald, go bald, shave it all off. But no half measures. Do you understand what I mean by the barcode hairstyle, Pete? Some Japanese men do it, so like, no. I started going at 25 and was tired of going to the salon every three weeks. Yep. Okay, let me show you, Peter. Doo -doo. Do 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 Like this. <coughs> Basically, you're going bald, so you let the hair grow along one side and then flick it over, so you end up with like these lines going across. So, men in Japan have a very big uh, confidence issue about going bald, or hage as we call it here. So, they often let their hair grow long on one side, uh, and then they flick it over, and it looks like a barcode. Um, so, no, no, no. The other barcode is like this style. <laughs> hilarious, hilarious. No, 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 no. Like, they ripped him apart. They really did. Do not do it. Do not do it. So, no, 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 no. So, do not do it. So, if you're going to go for a barcode, now that one's kind of cool. I'd like that one. Yeah, but no, 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 no.
Don't do it. No, don't. Ah, <laughs> oh, people are evil. People are evil. We call that a comb over. Now, comb over is good, but today a barcode is so much better. Just be careful when you go to the supermarket. They might scan your husband and someone might buy him. <laughs> so, cute kitty, if your husband goes shopping, be very careful. Because if he gets too close to the scanner, it might charge you for the husband. That's not what I was thinking of. Okay. No. So different mind perception, eh? I'll be able to do the second one in a moment, which would be good. <coughs> Peter, don't listen to Ricky. He just not has enough hair to go have a barcode. I'm sorry, but I would never do that. I've always had a high forehead anyway, uh, which is not a problem for me. My hair always has been very high, not an issue. Uh, and I have no problems with this coming off to the side or going back. If it goes, it goes. I'm fine with that one. So, so. No issues at all for that on my side, so absolutely not. There we go, I can do the next one. Okay, I should be able to get that one done later as well. 14 hours to go. We're still producing on the hams, which is nice. So this is going to be perfect. Do, 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 do. Bread's coming on that one as well, which is good. Can we do the lemon meringue pie? No. So I'll trash that one. Those are all up and running, which is nice. Okay, pizzas. I've got five it wants me to produce. So we can do another one down there. That's two. Okay. <coughs> Cindy says my husband has a six inch part. gonna go there I'm not gonna go care yeah, I'm not gonna go there cute he said I did all in the time okay I thought you wanted me to put a barcode on my head Ricky no 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 not a barcode on your head yeah no don't don't put one on the head if you can help it <laughs> 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 and now Peter says six inch parts Cindy <laughs> you'll make all the ladies jealous <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Part in your head, so that ah, part is parting. Ah, parting. Okay, Cindy, I understand now. So your husband has a six-inch parting. A six-inch parting. Okay, a parting. Ah, well, I understand now. <laughs> eh, funny. Oh my god. <coughs> you
You guys are naughty. No, no, never. <laughs> <laughs> We're having some fun, that's all. We're having some fun. Right, just need those two hand pieces done and I'm good to go. Working on the carrots, which is nice and easy. And that will be another two vouchers for the collection as we move into next month, which will be good as well. So, yay. <coughs> Ricky, you're naughty tonight. Me, no, 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 no. No, I'm sweet and innocent, me. So, no, no, no. We're just talking about hairstyles. <coughs> Cat lady said it's Rena. Well, hello, Rena. So. You've changed your name to Crazy Cat Lady 2024. Okay. Do 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 mm, 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 mm. <coughs> let's keep going we need a little bit more tomatoes next I need to produce I think on that one to make it more comfortable for me. That machine's up and running now we can do those ones <coughs> which is good. I need to do some of those other cakes as well, but I need to start making the pastries to do that one. So, um, I'm not going to get another ham for another 19 minutes. So I need two more bits of bread for that, so we take the two bits of bread first of all. Then we start working on the pastry for the other five, and then I can start producing those cakes. So let's get that done. Right, now I can do the pastry. Now go with... How many do I need for the next upgrade? 31 more, so almost there. <coughs> you made a new YouTube account. Okay, that's nice. Makes it easier to find you then, I guess. Hmm. <coughs> Marjanko, hello as well, by the way. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right, time for the next giveaway, everybody. I'm going to do another one now and ask you another Easter-related question. So, what should I do this time, I wonder? What would be a good question for me to ask? Hmm. Let's go into privacy mode so you don't see what I'm looking at. Do 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 Right now, I'm going to type the word in. This is one word. If I can spell it correctly. <clears throat> right now, I'm going to type in the question. Right, are you ready for the next question? So here you go. My question is this. Why would... Oh, Mr. Squirrel just subscribed. Welcome to my channel as a subscriber. Welcome, Mr. Squirrel's view. Hello. Now remember, type in the chat as well, please. So the question is, why would I eat my bunny divider? I need three winners for this one to get items from the games company. So, <clears throat> I 
Ricky, did I hear a lot of streamers don't have confidence in Supercell? They keep killing games before Global. It's six games now. Supercell kills a lot of games over the years. They've killed so many. <clears throat> they have high expectations and whatever else. They're not like other companies just, just make games, then they die. Make games, then they die. Um... It depends on the streamers, depends on the game, to, um, I guess. I think hey, Everdal could have gone a long way, but a game, it's... The community direction for gaming and people who play games is very different. There's the new one which is ongoing as well, which is the battle one. But there's a lot of battle games already, so will it survive in that sphere of existing battle games? When you've got things like Fortnite, or you've got World of Wars, or you've got uh, Minecraft and other games, um, it's very challenging to bring new games into that area. And playing on the same names a game depends like I watched the latest uh, uh, battles that they had on YouTube for the um, Clash of Clans and again lots of players are posting like spam game or they're not happy or they're dissatisfied with the way things go um, there's a lot of interesting comments um, um, I play a game I try it if it's good okay I can go with it um, but it's much more challenging to progress a game and then have it die off you. So it, it happens. <coughs> so why would I eat my bunny divider? Mm. Heyday Pot was good. When they added the clouds in, that killed it as well for me. That was terrible. Uh, they were going along the right way. I loved the puzzle pieces. I really did. That was a lot of fun. So that would have been a lot of fun. They could have developed that very nicely indeed. So everybody likes puzzles. They don't have to be overly complicated. But uh, we do like puzzle games. That's why I kind of like um, puzzle adventure. Uh, and I like um, the other game I'm playing as well. Not that one. So I like Love and Pies because of the puzzles. It's much better now. Um, puzzle Adventure I enjoy. Rootland's an interesting game, but I don't think that's going to survive. That one's definitely going to go. Um, but uh, Love and Pies and Puzzle Adventure. Merge Mansions become too complicated for me. Um, and it just becomes very uh, overly tedious on that one. But, uh, yep. Heyday Pop was nice. I like that one. It was good fun. Yeah, basically Marjanko. They have certain expectations. Um, the game has got to be able to maintain and survive and then create a certain revenue. Uh, they're in the business of making money, as most companies are. Um, so when they produce a game, they want the game that's going to continue and provide playing opportunities for players for a long time so it's very standard <coughs> I just need those last two ham pieces and I'm good to go and then we can focus on that lovely Do 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 do. Okay, Cindy, write some more comments so we can misinterpret it. Okay, uh, it tastes good. It tastes like marshmallows. It's good at Pete. I'm good at Peter. Tastes like marshmallows. It's good. Tastes like marshmallows. Tastes good. So, Cindy, if you want to say, you get misinterpreted. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> Happens a lot. That does, Peter. People always misinterpret my actions or comments sometimes as well. It's funny. No, that's not what I said. That's a completely different topic. Mm. Peter, if you've got man flu, there's no way you can travel. You're going to have to stay home, man. So, I wouldn't like to burden your family with that... Uh, illness so no 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 stay home stay home relax and recover 
Do, 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 do. Okay, that's a good one. I can do that. Pizza's on the go at the moment. That's an easy one as well. We just need those tomatoes and then we're good with this. Thirty-one. Got a long way to go yet before that star's achieved. Long way on that one in sixteen hundred on that one. Hmm. Once I've done this one, I'll start working on that cornbread again. I think. <coughs> uh, what is the bunny divider? Okay, this is the bunny divider. It's in the decorations, and it's made of marshmallows. So. I would absolutely eat it. Yummy, yummy, yummy. It's 250 coins. It's basically like a fence. And that's what it looks like. <coughs> so that is the bunny divider angel. Mm. So, looks tasty too, doesn't it? I blended some of those in the other day just to see what they would look like as well. So, it was a very cool indeed. <laughs> That's the bunny divider. So delicious, delicious, delicious. I don't know. Uh, we do not know how many points are needed for the level. Um, when I spoke to the games company years ago, this is not what they're going to be adding in. So, no. Let's go and visit the dog house. Yeah, marshmallows. Yummy, 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 yummy. I would eat those. I would. Mm -hmm. Covered with sugar. Put the bucks at your feet, Peter, with socks on. It'll make you feel much better. Okay. I'm wearing socks on my feet, too. Yeah, I prefer barefoot, though. I really don't like wearing anything on my feet. I like it the more open, free side. Vix. Ah, Vix. I use Vix on my chest. Or oh, I used to when I was a young man. So, Vix vapor rub when you're sleeping. So get the jar out like them. Spread it on the chest, put the jar back away, and then sleep. Or put some Vicks in a little burner with a candle underneath so that the, it burns and then that vapor permeates the bedroom and that will help you breathe. It really is good. Hmm. Right, Tanea says good night. Oh no, no, don't go. You got another hour yet? Okay, let's go see who's got. So, mm, I need marshmallow as the answer. Let's go back up in the chat. Yeah, you got one more day to collect your Easter eggs. By the way, Peter in Haiti. Cute kitty said the right answer. Tastes like marshmallow. Shelley said the right answer. Crazy cat said the right answer. Think only three people, yes. <coughs> do, 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 do. Angel's got the right answer. I saw that one. Shady got the right answer. Do, 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 do. <laughs> right, let's do it. So, winner number one is going to be Angel. So, 
she gets herself a thousand gold coins, three people I need. Winner number two is Shelly, she gets a thousand gold coins as well, congratulations. And the third person down here gets cute kitty. Okay, let's go close that one off, remove the marshmallows, and come back on this one again. <laughs> All the ladies are finished now, they're noisy. <clears throat> Do 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 Right, Angels I've got, Karen's Diner, level 47. Let's copy that one over. There we go. <coughs> Shelly's Details is level 28. Copy that one over as well. And Cute Kitty, Ladybug Diner, Peace and Happiness. Let's copy that one over as well. There we go. One more giveaway to do, which will be for the pet. So, big one to do. Right, there we go. A whole bottle of wire. Scott will kill the flu. That's true. Or it might kill Peter as well. Yes. <coughs> so, when I went to my mate's house for a barbecue and to do some other bits as well, then uh, he brought out a nice bottle of alcohol. Uh, I couldn't drink too much of that. That was a little bit too strong. I don't mind drinking spirits, but I prefer um, lager or bitter instead as an example. It's more manageable. Um, sometimes the spirits can be a little bit like, whoa, that burns. <coughs> Laurie, hello as well, by the way. <coughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you here as well. Come on, carrots, you're slow. Three minutes, 50 odd seconds. Wow, just subscribed. That's an interesting name. Wow, please do chat in the chat as well. Okay, it's open to everybody. Come and say hello. So if you haven't subscribed, everybody, please do so. Yeah. Next one, 22 seconds. I wonder what that will be. Will it be one of these or will it be a different one? Hmm. We're going to need more of these, I think, down there as well. So. <coughs> <coughs> mm -hmm. You guys taught me to staying around. Good girl, good girl, Tanea. You only got to be here for another 50 minutes until noon time, so I'm sure you can manage 50 minutes. I like thongs, Pete. I like thongs. Okay, Dragon Rail Sushi. I don't have any of the Japanese tempura ready. I could produce some, which would be 40 minutes on the clock. And then once I've produced it, uh, that would be that order there as well. So, mm, arming and arring. Difficult. That one gives me the points as well. And if I did that one, I got seaweed and rice, but I need to do some more rice. That's three hours worth of work, though. That's the only downside. Mm, decisions, decisions, decisions. We'll see. <coughs> oh no, I want to be at the center of naughty. Oh, do 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 do. Nothing wrong with being naughty. Naughty and nice is good. Depends on the context. I can be naughty. Yes, I can take the last cookie. Mm -hmm. Then what are you going to do? So if I came into your house and I took the last cookie from the cookie jar, what would you do? Mm. Rana says, I'm not sure if I can see myself wearing a thong. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, Rena, can I just confirm you understand what a thong is, first of all, please? Uh, the strongest thing I had is I 42 proof. Anything stronger tastes like paint dinner to me. 42 is too strong. So, 42 is too strong. I say flip-flops for those as well. Uh, I just want to know which one Rena thinks of as a thong. Um, so, yeah... <laughs> She just said, I'm not sure if I can see myself wearing a thong in the chat. But yeah, flip-flops. I used to say flip-flops too. Ah, Rena was thinking of the underwear. Okay, I thought you meant the, the shoes, first of all. So, yes. So, flip-flops and thongs. I used to say flip-flops. And you call them sliders? Those ones as well. Interesting. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> said it's a thin piece of underwear so there we go there's Rena wearing her thong <laughs> <laughs> oh my god no 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 oh. <laughs> Funny as hell. Um, I used to wear flip flops as a kid as well, especially at the beach, and I always hated this bit stuck in between my toes. I really did. I like Crocs though. Crocs I'm more comfortable with. I prefer those. But I um, could never get used to that thing digging into my toes, and it was not my kind of thing. Not really. Mm, I prefer sandals. <coughs> The liquor is like a uh, Gilly Cuddy's Butterscotch 42 proof. Too much alcohol in the thing is not good. So you lose like it just destroys the flavour and the taste. So I don't like it too much on those. Another one done. There we go. Slowly getting there. Let's get some greens on the go in this and some tomatoes too and some wheat because we're running out. Now we just need one more ham on that one and that will be perfect. 38 minutes. Lovely. <coughs> Hmm, Vesta, leave that one alone, Ricky. Yeah, I'm being good today, don't worry. So, yeah, not me today. I'm not causing any issues at all. Absolutely good me. And, hang on, did I just take that bread? No, you stupid idiot. Oh man, that's okay though, I don't mind. I can get bread another way if I have to. Oh well. Right, when I heard about Thongs and Daisy in Australia, boy, that came out with some... Oh, it was a really interesting discussion on that day. Um, talking about clothing and different styles and meanings. It's one of the conversations I had with my student the other day about cultural differences because of language. Uh, and it was a very interesting topic point. Um, I do like discussing different language options. So, yes. 
It's syrupy and thick, really good frozen, just get it in small nibs. Okay, frozen kind of defeats the object though, doesn't it? But then again, I could enjoy a nice ice pole. So, an ice pole like that sounds good, Laurie. Uh, definitely. I do like ice poles. Do, 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 do. Later, I need to grow some rice, I think. Especially if I want to do that seafood dish as well that's coming up as well for me. <coughs> mm -hmm. Ice cream's gone now. I use those. Can't do much until this carrots is dealt with out the way because that's taking up a lot of uh, ability for me to do things. Uh, not good. Oops, a day. You see, I need some more trees, don't I? got an excessive amount of fruit over here, so where is it? Do 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 uh, there we go. Lovely jubbly. Seven thirty three to go on that one. <coughs> Did you discuss bum bags? We've never actually discussed those before in the past. I do I still own a bum bag or fanny pack as they're called. So, I still have those. I still use them. They are great for traveling and things like that. Bum bags. Peter, bum bag is a little pouch that uh, sits in front here uh, and then has a belt that goes around your waist. Um, I think The Rock had one in his um, movie or show and then people were taking the mickey out of it. But um, <coughs> basically, it's. Um, a small little like pouch that you uh, have in front of you with a belt around it to hold it in place so no bum bags are not nappies but, um, even I have one haven't worn it for a while though Do, 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 do. They're very trendy though with some people. They tend to use them across their bodies though, like this. So these are bum bags, as they're called. Um, <coughs> they become more of a fashion focus for some people as well. Um, you can wear them down in front like this, so they're different styles. <coughs> they're much more uh, trendy than they used to be many, many years ago. And there's a lot of different styles. There you go. A lot of people wear them across their body now because it's much more cooler looking. But that's not how they used to be worn. They used to be worn just in front of your groin. So, like this lady here as an example. But then they were easy to swivel around behind. They're great for cycling. <coughs> And if you're visiting countries where there's a lot of pickpockets, it's also very handy as well to keep it in front of you and much easier to watch your belongings. Um, rucksacks tend to stay behind your back and then people tend to steal from those. So bum bags or as you say, like fanny packs. <coughs> there we go. Same kind of style. Look at them all. I still have one. They still sell them in Japan too. They're still popular. But like I said, a lot of people prefer them across their body like this because it's much trendier looking. <coughs> I don't think anything's wrong with the words. Yeah.
I still have a men's handbag as well. I remember years ago I bought this handbag in Japan because they were popular with the men. Uh, we used to have these little like men's handbag. In fact, let me show you men's handbags in Japan. I've still got it, still in really good condition, made of leather. Cost me a lot of money at the time. So men's handbags uh, in Japan. No, 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 not these ones. Not like this, not like this, no, 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 no. They're showing the modern equivalent, which is very different. Do, 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 do. <laughs> See if I can do it. <coughs> Nope, 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 nope. No, they're the modern ones. Why are you showing me the wrong styles? Um, no, 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 no. Augustina, hello, by the way, and welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I can't see them. Wow. Maybe my search is wrong. <laughs> Men's bags. Maybe that'd be a good one to cover for when we do the Japan theme. I could take some photos of people, but um, it's usually the businessmen that have got it, or like um, those guys going out of an evening socializing, not young. Mm -hmm. No, these are all wrong. No, I can't find it, sorry. It's bringing up the wrong kind of bags for my search. It's uh, useless. Okay, I'll show you next time. I'll take a photo. <coughs> Mint bags for putting career when I was there. Bought one made for male skin home with me. Yeah, I still got mine. Don't use it as much these days. Uh, it has like a wristband on it as well to stop someone from running off with it. Um, leather, there's a slip pouch in the front, zipper on the inside for putting your wallet and other things. It's great for going out for drinks in the evening, but uh, you still need to put it down. And then... Um, it's nice, but um, not so popular these days. Mm. Even most businessmen now, they don't carry briefcases. It's more like rucksacks now. Um, um, the perception on the market is completely different. Mm -hmm. Okay, I should now be able to do that one, which is good. I'm going to trash that one. That's going to take too many hours. So I'd rather go with the quicker point options. That would be better for me. Another ham, 28 minutes. Cows are still coming, 4 minutes. That's fine. Mm. Hey, the Australian sex love tam tams and shapes. Yeah, there's a store that I saw the other day. They're selling tam tams, Peter. Yeah, sorry, Tim tams, not tam tams. Um, not so bad price as well. <clears throat> but I still prefer penguins. Penguins are much better for me. So more used to that brand. But then again, I haven't had penguins in years either. So. Do they have a big drinking culture in Japan? Yes, they do, Marjanko. <clears throat> they do. 
even though Japanese people can be very weak at drinking there's a big uh, entertainment culture and socializing culture for drinks and food um, so yes <laughs> Very big culture for it. Oh, that's evil, Strictly. That's evil. So she says, Peter, you realize you're old enough to be Daisy's father. Ouch. <laughs> Hey, some young women like older men. So they do. So some young men, older women, like young men like old women, and vice versa. So yes. So maybe it's perfect because he's settled in his way. He's got his own property. He's got money. He can wine and dine and treat her and uh, keep her in the. Um, condition she's accustomed to uh, plus uh, he's more mature and sensible she's young so she's in the prime of her age and he's in the prime of his maturity much better when that one <coughs> yes so we just need to get them married and start having kids before it becomes too late so, yes that's the key thing so what are penguins? Okay, let me show you. So, penguins are very delicious. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. These are penguins. <coughs> Come on. This is a penguin. So basically, that's what a penguin looks like. It's a kind of biscuit covered with chocolate um, and very delicious indeed. The original ones are red. They're from McVitie's and they are very, very, very nice indeed. Except when they get hot and then the wrapper gets all sticky and stays on there. So, yes. <coughs> mm, I like them used to enjoy eating penguins as a young man. So, very nice. Mm -mm -mm. If you like bourbon biscuits, then it's very similar in some ways, but coated with chocolate. So, those are penguins. <coughs> so, versus uh, Tim Tam. There we go. So there's a Tim Tam, there's a penguin. They're actually not that dissimilar. So Tim Tams are the Australian versions, yes. <coughs> so you can see. Hmm, so which is better? Hang on. <coughs> so they both have a layer of chocolate in the middle and about the same amount of chocolate surrounding them. Tim Tam has more filling than the penguin and the Tim Tam's biscuit is more solid. Yeah, that's the view from that person over there, which is, I suppose, are Tim Tam's better than penguins? Okay. Tim Tam is a classy little biscuit. It tastes great and it's in substantial nature affords the sucking of tea and coffee through it by Australian songstress. The famous Tim Tam Sam, however, the mighty penguin offers a more satisfying mouthful and its greater bulk elevates it from a treat to a snack. So, uh, penguins are much better in my honest opinion as well. Right, which came first? Mm -mm -mm. See, Tim Tams are just copies of them. 
So penguins are first, and then Tim Tams came later. So during 1958, okay, he took a world trip looking for inspiration for new products. So while traveling Britain, he found the penguin biscuit and decided to try to make a better one. Tim Tam went on the market in 1964. So it's stolen valor in this case. Yes, yes, yes. So it's a chocolate bar that's trying to mimic a penguin. And it's doing an okay job, but um, it's not the same thing. So it's stealing the penguins' uh, um, roll. So <clears throat> right. I'm telling you about it. My dad tried to bring his girlfriend to my wedding. That was one year younger than me. Needless to say, he got told no. Why strictly? Uh, you told him no, or somebody else told him no? <coughs> Who told him no? How much is a bar of chocolate in Japan? Here in Australia, it's $15. It depends on the bar of chocolate, Marjanko. Um, depending on what you want to buy. If it's an imported one from overseas, it's expensive. If it's a Japanese one, then it's not so bad. So, depending on the kind of bar that you like, depends on how much you want to pay for them. So... <coughs> So as an example, since we're talking Tim Tams, if I go to the online shopping and have a look, um, you can see like a pack of Tim Tams in Japan. It's like 538 yen uh, for a packet. So a double one there with the dark, okay, is uh, 1,020 yen. Um, yeah, hmm. really? <coughs> Look at that one. 883 yen for the Tim Tam, but 3,300 yen for delivery. <laughs> like, it's only going to cost you 883 yen, but to send it to you, 3,360 yen. Wow. That's expensive, so don't be tricked by these ones. 867 yen and then delivery 2300 yen so crazy 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 if I did penguins how much are penguins <coughs> no penguin bar there we go uh, for a pack of nine penguins 3760 yen like ouch Ouch, out. Oh, Marjanko, thank you very much. You became a level one subscriber on my channel. I appreciate that one. Thank you very much indeed. Welcome to the green team. I know, Pete. I know. I know. I know. That's why I say, please send me postcards. It's much cheaper as well. I don't mind postcards. So, But welcome to the green team. Thank you very much. I can see your face in that one as well. Hmm. Do, 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 do. I'm going to trash that order because I can't do that one. Those ones I can keep. I need to do the tomato soup one next as well. One, two, three, four. There we go. That'll be good for later. Lovely. We need more of the pancakes. So that one's down there as well. That's good. Okay, I like that. Uh, did you use the app giveaways for the channel and membership? Uh, I'm not sure on this one, Pete. I don't think I can do that on this one. The other channel I can. I don't think this channel lets me. Hang on. The other channel, I think I've done them, but uh, this one doesn't let me do it. Hang on, let me switch over. <coughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
This one doesn't give me the option, I think. Yes, I don't have the option on this one. This one is a paid for one, so a little bit different. Yeah, other one is 10, but um, this one, this one, no. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I know, Pete, I know. Sending overseas is expensive. It really is. Um, even sending from Japan, like sending stickers, I have to do the customs forms. Plus the cost of postage as well is like, how much? I was surprised. The biggest surprise for me was the customs form. I got to put them in a customs form to send stickers overseas. Right, that's crazy mad. That is um, crazy mad. I can't always get to the post office, but um, yeah. Sometimes I wonder. Do we do things just to make things easier, or do we do things to make it more complicated? Right. How long does it take for Mal to get to Ricky and Daisy? Depends strictly. Uh, it can take a couple of days to a couple of months, depending on how you're sending it, um, or where it's coming from. Uh, but not long, not really. It About less than a week, I think it is, or more than a week, depending on the country and the system. So, case by case. So strictly, what you can do, if you wanted to, why not send me a postcard? There's my address. If anybody wants to send me a postcard or a letter, please do so. That's my address here in Japan. I'd love to get one. So send me a postcard or a letter and see how long it takes. <clears throat> CD says, stuff from China takes almost a month to get here. Um, case by case. Um, I use uh, some websites online from China because the quality might not be the best, but the price is really good. Sometimes the item's good, sometimes the item's not good, but uh, definitely cheaper than buying some things in Japan, that's for sure. Uh, Japan is overpriced on certain things. Crazily overpriced. They kind of put themselves out of the offering. I think that's enough wheat for now. We do corn next. Mm, cost thirty cents to send a package to Western Australia to my daughter. It took ten days. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Australia and New Zealand are expensive at the moment. It really is. It's crazy their prices. Even the cost of things here, like, becoming like... Oh, 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 yes. Thank you very much. Yay, Starly. I appreciate that one. I don't have to worry about that one now. That is good. I can uh, just focus on the carrots now. Yay. I appreciate that one. I wonder how her design is this time. It's a big country. Yes, it is. It's a very large continent. <gasps> we got the Easter eggs. We do. Look at that. Look at that beautiful picture of the Easter eggs. Very nice indeed. Yeah. I like that. Very nice. <laughs> She's more creative than I am, that is for sure. Much more creative than I am. Mm. <clears throat> Much more creative, definitely. And I just got helped, yay. I order things directly get sent to her. Yeah, it's much easier that way as well. I do the same with some things as well. Order it and directly get it sent. 
I've done a few for that for America in the past as well and for some other countries. That's why I kind of like the merchandise codes. I can give you the codes and then the heyday covers the cost of postage. It's much easier for me. Uh, them sending the items to me than me sending it out causes difficulties. So. <coughs> it really does. More challenging. Uh, yes, Cindy. Um, like co-op as an example which is at one of the stations they do a delivery service and the van comes out they do three kinds of delivery services there's or three services there's the one where you need to go to the store on the produce day and then you pick up your package there and you take it home uh, the other one is they deliver to let's just say your apartment building uh, but that's like a communal delivery and then everybody has to go downstairs and sign for their product and take it home or they do one where they deliver to your door and they leave it in front of your door uh, we have like a kind of a catalog that you fill out and then you tick what you want and you send in a, a message or fax or something like that with your I order request they then pick the produce for you uh, their staff go around and pick it and then they send it to your home um, I like it very handy indeed we also have a local market one which is really good which I do like that local market one uh, has the fishermen uh, and the farmers all combined together so we can get a lot of good seafood from in and around Japan or vegetables as well um, that service I like I really do uh, gives you some interesting options <laughs> okay right giveaway time now for the last giveaway for today's stream we need to be doing the pet giveaway everybody now one of you has the choice to choose any kind of pet that you would like from the pet section it could be from the theme or it can be from other themes I don't mind uh, but those are your choices if it's from this theme you've got the fox you've got the lamb down there as an example I got a couple of those uh, you've got the golden lamb which is also nice uh, you've got the half hatch chicken which has its own building there's the baby alpaca uh, you've also got the bunny as well I got a few of those there's the pink bunny as well I've got a few of those there's the chick in their care box which I've got as well and there's the cockatiel so those are the animal choices from this theme should you be inclined to get them <coughs> mm, I'm all this stuff online have it David but I can't get get gets expensive yeah that's true Pete and sometimes the delivery they say they've delivered but they've not actually delivered and they've kept it or it's been stolen or something like that thankfully we don't have too many issues like that here um, because we have special mailboxes in some of the buildings where you live and then uh, basically they put it in that mailbox you need a code to open it so it's much easier mm. but when I see on the news about people stealing packages from people's doors or their mailboxes and I think like seriously yeah, people these days yeah. Do, 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 do. Alright, I'm going to type in the answer now. Do, 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 do. The word has been typed in. It's one word, everybody. <coughs> All you've got to do is to type the word in and the winner will be chosen. There we go. This is your question. What do I need for my truck and bunnies? So type the answer into the chat. What do I need for my truck and bunnies? This is your question, everybody. So what do I need for my truck and bunnies? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me in the chat. And if you get it right, yay, you'll have the chance to win from the games company. Yay. <laughs> 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 Do 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 do. 
I think this one's an easy one to do. So probably my easiest question today. Yeah. That's a shame. That would have been nice to get. I needed a second one. Ninety-two. I can't do. So next one. Uh, I thought they may have added a scroll bar to the deco last night in the heyday update. If they do, it's due. Hang on a second. Let me just see. Did they add it in or not? No, there's no scroll bar added yet. Sorry. No, that's not come into the game yet. Ah, but the third milestone's arrived. So, yeah. That's three done. Mm and don't forget it's double points in heyday at the moment for uh, the events if you haven't done it it's your chance to actually get the points that you might need to finish the farm pass because the farm pass is almost over and uh, you'll want to collect all of your rewards on that one sooner rather than later mm -hmm. no they didn't add anything new to it let's try again sometimes I'm lucky and they add things back no <coughs> oh, what's this? Huh? <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way of making a design in the game. Yeah. That's one way of making a design. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that one, that's for sure. I wasn't. I really wasn't expecting that one. Alright, carrots are ready again. Now we can do that one. There we go. Truck's on its way. What did we get? We got a silver. That's nice. I'll take that one. Next one is the pastry. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's convenient, isn't it? That's very convenient indeed. I got a saw. There we go. Chop down that one. Lovely. Perfect. Need a couple of brown tiles in there. I was thinking the same thing. I really, really was on that case. Uh, a couple of brown tiles or maybe a little piece of wood in there would have been good. 
Right, let's see who's got the right answer for the giveaway. So, Angel said the right answer. Marjanko put the picture of the carrots, but not the word. So, I'll let you have that one. Cute Kitty put the word in as well. Peter typed in the word, which is good. Shelley did the word. I'll accept that one. Laurie did the word as well. You've been lurking. No problems. Lurking's good. Right, let's do the last giveaway. So, ten, only one winner this time. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And the winner is going to be... Cute Kitty. Really? Did she type the answer? Let's have a look. She did. Carrots. Well done. So carrots is the chosen answer in this case. So cute kitty, you get to choose a pet. So what pet would you like within the game? You've got some choices. And there are quite a few. So choose, 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 choose. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I need that stretch. So, what are you going to choose? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She goes like, ooh, yep, you got choices. So, what would you choose? Mm hmm. Is there a lamb? Yes, there are a couple of lambs down there. You've got the golden lamb. You've got the sweet lamb pet. So you can choose either of those. So we've got like uh, the sweater lamb. And we've got the golden lamb. So those are two lambs in this one. What would you like? That's what they look like down there. Mm. <clears throat> so would you like one of the lambs so the sweater lamb or the gold lamb both are cute <laughs> which would you like Sweater land, the white one, no problems. I'll go put that down on your list. Right, now that is all of the giveaways done for this theme, everybody. The meat is now done, which is good. I just need bread now, so I'm going to have to wait on the bread until those are done, which is not a problem. Right, so interactive water slide, real sportsman, congratulations. So. The pet, sweater, lamb, cute kitty, thousand gold coins, angel, Shelly and cute kitty, voucher packs, Lawanda, Peter, Tanea and Shelly, and the 25 gems, cute kitty, angels, Tonya, uh, Tanea and Shelly. So please make sure you contact the games company later, let them know that you have won. I will pass over my form as well to them. Now, on that note, everybody, I'm going to say goodbye to you. The event stream is now over for me today. There will be more streams coming next week, as usual. You've seen the information I've posted about um, upcoming events. I'll share that later on my social media. But for the moment, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you very much for joining me, and you take care. And I'll see you next time. Bye now.